everyone welcome back to our youtube channel learn with sahira in this video we are going to see the paper pattern as well as paper presentation for the subject to mobile commerce which is for degree 5th semester bba students all the bba students of 5th semester who are having mobile commerce as their subject can watch this video till end to get an idea about how the questions they will be asking you in the examination and how you need to attempt each and every question in order to score full marks so watch the video till end and if you are new to our youtube channel learn with sahira subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too subscribe our channel because on this channel you will be getting all the videos related to your exam preparation ma and if you want the notes of mobile commerce or any other subject which is included in your semester you can dm me on my instagram learn with sahira drop me a message your uh, group name your semester and want notes right want notes your group and semester i will be giving you the access for all subjects important question and answers notes which are easy simple and clear to understand ready for quick exam preparation in very less time you can get perfect with the complete subject complete syllabus and easily you can score o grade in each and every exam so dm me on my instagram my instagram id is learn with sahira link is also available in this video description without wasting much of our time let us get started with our video mobile commerce is a core subject for bba students and uh, i don't know how many of you know but it is for 80 marks 80 marks time duration will be there and the uh, sorry 80 marks paper will be there and the time duration will be 3 hours in 3 hours of time duration you need to attempt 80 marks question paper okay in 3 hours of time duration you need to attempt 80 marks question paper here the 80 marks are divided into two parts part a and then it is part b part a is purely based on short questions and uh, here short questions part a will consist of 20 marks okay and talking about part b it is purely based on long questions and it consist of 60 marks 60 plus 20 how much it will be obviously it is 80 marks in 3 hours of time duration you need to attempt 80 marks paper 80 marks are divided into two parts part a short 20 marks part b long 60 marks now let us talk about the part a first how the questions they will be asking you in the part a as we have already seen part a will be for 20 marks they will be giving you eight questions ma 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 out of these eight questions you need to attempt any five questions okay like this any five of your choice if you are attempting any five questions you will be getting 20 marks one question will carry you four marks if you attempt five questions five into four how much it will be it will be 20 marks so one question will carry you four marks you need to attempt five questions from part a and if you want to get four marks definitely you need to write one side of your answer booklet if you are just writing five and six lines or if you are writing just half of the side and expecting that you will get four marks no that is not going to happen definitely you need to write one side so if you are writing five questions how many sides part a should cover five sides five sides of your answer booklet this is the paper pattern for part a now let us discuss about the part b how they will be asking you the questions in part b part b it will consist of 60 marks and uh, the questions will be like this there from 1 to 8 was part a right now in part b the questions will be starting from 9 9 10 11 12 30 in each question you will be having internal choice like a or b a or b ninth question will be asked from unit number 1 tenth will be asked from 2 third will be from 11th okay 12th question will be asked from 4th 13th question will be asked from 5th okay from five units all the two two answers will be covered okay from first like what is mobility and also the different models of m commerce ma Yes, what is M Commerce? Different models of M Commerce already I have uploaded. Damn sure, important questions on our channel. 
go to our channel playlist mobile commerce semester 5 you will be finding all units explanation videos in very easy and simple english if you want those uh, videos uh, so that you can watch you can go to our channel playlist and watch all the videos if you want me to make any other video on mobile commerce let me know in the comment section so here this is the pattern and one question will carry you how many marks 12 marks so 5 into 12 how many it will be 60 marks 60 marks will be in your hands if you attempt each question from each unit okay if you are writing a don't go with b if you are writing B, don't go with A. Like that, you need to choose accordingly which question or which answer you are feeling like you are perfect with. You choose that and you write. One question will carry you 12 marks. Now, let us discuss how many sides you need to write in order to score 12 marks. Definitely, you need to write 3 sides of the paper in order to score 12 marks. If not, 2 and half sides. But target should be 3 sides per must, then only you will be scoring 12 marks. 2 and half, no. But the students who feel like, no ma'am, I can't write 3 sides, then you can go with 2 half, but your target should be 3 sides. So that you can score 12 marks from part B for each of the question. Now let us talk about the paper presentation, how you need to present the answers in order to score O grade or, or full marks. So this will be, the, this will be your paper answer booklet paper right single rule it will be and uh, your uh, answer booklet will be starting from third question right first after going into the examination hall you just draw the margins from where this circle is sta uh, starting for your uh, answer booklet from there you draw the margin not from here here or there from nowhere you just draw the margin from here draw all the margins and keep and also fill your uh, details page first only before go to getting the question paper they will be distributing the question papers at time right exact time they will be distributing but you will be going uh, before itself so you will be having time duration right so in that time draw the margins and you just uh, enter all all the details of you in your details page and get ready to write the exam after getting the question paper they will be distributing the question paper after getting the question paper, don't look at part A. Part A, bilkul dekho hi mat. Directly go to part B and mention part B like this. Heading. Part B in capital letters you need to mention. Already the line will be given here. If you are attempting 9th question, write 9th here. If you are going with A, mention A here. Okay. And start writing the answer. Will you start writing the answers directly like uh, M-commerce models or E-commerce model? Directly you will be writing the answer? No. First you need to write the introduction. Intro is must. Whether they are asking about the definition or meaning, then also you should write. If they are not asking also, you should mention to make your answer booklet look attractive. The person who is correcting your paper, he will come to know that yes, the person who have written this uh, answers or who have written this exam he or she know the complete concept when you write the introduction start writing the introduction like what is mean by m commerce okay then you mention models of m commerce in capital letters you mention nicely you mention so like this will be the line right like this capital letters you need to mention like models of m commerce like that okay you have to touch a bow line and below line so that it look good in capital letters you write the heading and then you start writing the answer but introduction is must for each and every answer not only for unit one i'm saying for each and every answer you uh, intro should be must and headings and subheadings should be in capital then it will look good capital it should be and if you have any example of your own okay like if you are having your daily life example it is like you just need to understand the concept you can write the complete answer your own words if you are having any example or any daily life analogy you can mention example like this in capital and write example for it okay Try to mention as many examples as you can if you are writing the answer. And if you are doing any mistake like models, 
is wrong you just think you just take a pencil and you just draw a line like this don't write wrong 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 or few students will do this mistake they will highlight this, that this is wrong when you are writing this you are highlighting that this is wrong the person who is correcting your paper first his eyesight will go on this only that this is wrong and your paper will look ugly okay so don't mention all these things just draw a margin like this sometimes they may not notice okay because they will be in a hurry they will not notice okay so like this you need to write them okay after completing part b go with part a this as i said you three sides is must write in your own words part a again you need to start with the question number and give the introduction and start writing the answer one side is must use black pen only because digital corrections will be uh, happening so you need not to use any other color pen just use black pen okay so this is your paper presentation and paper pattern of mobile commerce ma i hope this is helpful if you want the notes you can text me on my instagram learn with saira but note there is a little payment very little payment but definitely you will be seeing very big results okay so yeah all the very best bye bye